Should you round your back when doing deadlifts? From a physio perspective, this is completely healthy, normal, and actually should be encouraged. We actually wanna get our back more robust and more resilient under loads, particularly with a flex spine, because that's what we do in day-to-day -day life, and that's how patients often hurt themselves with a flex back, whether it's picking up kids, grandkids, groceries, or something small like a pen. If we get used to being in this position and used to being in this position under load, not only do we have more confidence, we have more strength in our back, but we develop robustness and resilience, and it's less likely that doing those day-to-day -day tasks will hurt your back. So when someone comes in with persistent chronic or back pain, we start them with you know a lot simpler exercises, floor exercises, bridges, straight back deadlifts with a lot of tension. But then the encouragement is to get them independent, more robust, more resilient, and starting to bend and flex their spine. Now, when we do this, we obviously start with a much lower load than what you could lift normally with a stiffer spine. And that's what it's all about, progressive load in different positions that match what we love to do day to day. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for your max load or for power lifting or competition, but for a physiotherapy perspective, for the everyday person who has trouble with their back or persistent and chronic back pain, I actually think we need to be doing more of this rounded back dynamic movements, movements that emulate what happens day to day. Unfortunately, in the last 10 or 15 years, there's been a lot of fear around having a bent back that this might lead to disc bulges or more injuries when, in fact, I think what we're learning is the opposite to that.